Taurus, welcome to your weekly general reading. <clears throat> this is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Taurus placement that you see fit. Personal reading information will be linked and listed in the description box. Any jewelry seen will also be linked and listed. And all the decks that I will be using will be linked and listed. The reading is aimed for the month of November. But time is elusive. If you are drawn to the reading, is usually because you're meant to hear the message. Towards the end, I'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Other than that, Taurus, we're jumping right in. Ten of Swords is your first card out that came flying out. There is an ending, no doubt, indubitably. Okay, but whatever this ending is, seems like it's exactly what is needed. It's exactly what is needed. Look at all this darkness going to the light. Okay, it is bringing you to wish fulfillment. So if something has recently ended and it really, really hurt, thank God for it. Thank God for it, I'm telling you. Because eventually, sooner or later, you're going to see exactly why this shit had to go. Okay, why it had to go, why it had to end. It was beneath you. Could also be a sense of betrayal, but what didn't kill you made you stronger. That Ten of Swords is also an energy of um, the end to life as you know it. So for those of you that have not experienced any sort of ending or betrayal, your reality might be getting ready to shift it like beyond what you could imagine, okay? That Ten of Swords is end, an end to life as you know it. So whatever your reality is, that, that's not, not going to be your reality for much longer. Good or bad, most likely good because it's coming out next to the Nine of Cups, which is Wish Fulfillment. That's my Living Your Best Life card. And I also have the Three of Cups, beautiful energy, reasons to celebrate. Holiday season energy too. Ace of Swords, yeah, breakthrough, look at that. Yes. Going from the Ten all the way to the, to the Ace. That's a complete cycle right there. So for some of you, where it's not an ending or anything like that, you're not breaking up, no one did you wrong, you've just been hanging out, chilling, doing your thing. The way you're living your life, whatever your reality is, that's what's getting ready to change here. You're starting a whole new cycle that's very different from the cycle that you just came out of. Two more cards, please, for Taurus. Like, like living your best life energy. Nine of Cups is my living your best life card. Gemini energy, lovers, major arcana, and major arcana, hangman energy, which is Pisces energy, could be important. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the King of Swords, Aquarius energy, also could be Gemini or Libra, but this is, um, could be a person that is very detached, very cold, but I think this is just about, this is reflection of the clarity that you're about to come into. There is something, maybe not even in particular, maybe it's just like a life clarity, like whenever this change happens, you're going to see why your life has been a certain way up until this point. It's going to make all make sense. But there is a clarity energy that I'm getting from this card. Also could be a conversation or some sort of information that creates this clarity for you, right? Could be from our air sign. I don't know. Will be different for all of you. But this is something that is very sure. There's no doubt. Okay. As we said, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords in your past position. So a complete cycle here. Some of you have endured an ending, have, have endured some sort of betrayal, but it was necessary. This is victory. The Ace of Swords is also a now card. So if this change hasn't happened yet, it looks like it's getting ready to happen. Could be Scorpio season. A lot's been going on in these readings I've seen for Scorpio season. It is going to be a pivotal time point for most of the collective, right? Going into that holiday season. Maybe it's just a shift in energy that is so desperately needed, right? But this is yes to, this is now, this is victory, this is clarity, this is also truth. So maybe some sort of truth came out that, that ended something that needed to end very clearly. Or this is just a self-truth that is enabling you to propel yourself into a new reality. Okay, in your present position, beautiful energies, the Nine of Cups and Major Arcana, the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy, yeah, living your best life, making the choice. For most of you, a lot of you, this has nothing to do with anyone else. This is completely you. Seeing yourself differently. Making different decisions than you would usually make. You know, this is all about choice. 
A lot of the times we ask for miracles and we ask for things, but we still have to accept it, right? Not because it's giving to us. That doesn't mean it's automatically like in our reality. We have to accept it. We have to merge it. We have to incorporate it into the reality we're already dealing with or already working with, right? But whatever this is, it's divine. It's been blessed. We see the angel there, but it will require you to choose it. It will require a choice to be made. It could simply just be in your thought pattern. With all these swords here and this king of swords, maybe it's time you stop betraying yourself. That ten of swords is not always about other people. As I said, a lot of the times it's us. We make decisions that betray ourselves, right? And maybe now you're finally seeing it. You're finally seeing the error to your ways, or this is somebody, this is not you directly. Finally seeing that, hey, this whole time, I've been choosing to make these decisions that put me in this position to keep feeling this type of shit that I don't want to feel. So you know what? I'm going to make a different decision. I'm going to choose something I don't normally choose. And this is victory. This is clarity. Right? They say the first step to admitting you have a problem. The first step to recovery is, is being able to acknowledge that you have a problem, right? This is very much speaking to the first step acknowledging the problem because we can't we can't change things we we don't accept or we don't make conscious to ourselves right if we leave it in the subconscious it can't be dealt with it has to be at the forefront of our mind in order to deal with it so this is not shying away from the from the illusions anymore this is accepting that we have been making decisions that put us in this situation time and time again breaking free of that making different decisions here and this is freedom this is liberation this is happening now that Scorpio energy making us go deep, huh? But that's why I've grown to love Halloween season, you know? And I think that's why a lot of people are in alignment, right? Because for so long, Halloween has been deemed as a very, very low vibrational thing, right? But how can it be when it's an aspect of ourself? To denounce Halloween or the idea of Halloween is to denounce a part of ourselves. And when you don't, when you choose not to accept the whole of you, it's very hard to manifest and to create the things you want because you haven't even faced your own demons yet. There's no way the universe is gonna allow you to propel or to succeed when you haven't even done the work. Like, you know what I mean? That's what doing the work is all about. A lot of us say, do the work, do the work, do the work. Doing the work is facing your demons, no longer being scared of them, giving them names, making them your pets. Because a lot of people don't realize as well as that us as human beings, we have domain over everything. Not only the animals, right we also have domain over the spiritual world but we are so scared of the spiritual world it's very easy to be overpowered by it it's very easy to be dominated by it it's very easy to be influenced without our even knowing but when you're not afraid of the dark moving on three of cups hangman in your future energy pisces energy with this hangman major arcana this is very much seeing things from another perspective this is also sacrifice for the greater good so once we are able to acknowledge where we're going wrong, it's a lot easier to fix, right? When you know every tool in your toolbox, when a problem comes along, you already know if you can deal with it or not. You already know if you need to go get extra parts, you already know because you know what's in your toolbox. But when you don't know what's in your toolbox, you'll be in Home Depot walking around, asking for shit, buying shit you already have. Trust me, this is this is like experience, okay? But obviously this the, you can use it in any context. When you already know what you have in your toolbox, when things, when problems come to you, it's very easy to diagnose. Because you know, okay, I got a screw, I got a monkey wrench, okay, I can fix that. Ah, uh, no, I don't got an Allen flat, so I probably need to go get an Allen flat because this is gonna require an Allen flat. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's naming the demons. No one can use them against you if they're your pets, right? They, they honor you, they do what you say. Name your demons. Three of Cups, reason to celebrate holiday season. Okay, beautiful energy here. Once we see, once we take accountability, once we choose to be responsible for ourselves, once we start naming those demons, you'd be like, Spanky, go over there and, 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 and tell that person I don't want to talk to them no more. <laughs> Paris, go over there and hand me that remote. And demons like, yes, master. Right? Page of Pentacles, something new here, something worth cultivating, curiosity, 
This is also like an admiration. Look how he's looking at that pinnacle. Like, ooh, you so pretty. You so pretty. How do I make more of you? Right? Making the decision. Two of Wands, new contracts, new partnerships. Making the decision. Realizing the world is your oyster because you say so. Let's get the oracles. What do we have for Taurus for November? Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Very much what I'm talking about here. Right? Number 20. This and that are true. It's basically saying there, there's a whole spectrum. Whatever you say is the truth. If you say I'm ugly, guess what? You're right. <laughs> if you say I'm beautiful, guess what? You're right. If you say I'm poor, guess what? You're right. If you say I'm scared of my demons, you're right. Make a different decision. Make a different decision. And Wombat Spirit, be at home. This is also very much speaking to that energy. Number 68, be at home. Get to know those demons. Get to know those the dark side. Call them, give them names. Become their master. You know, go into the basement, clean it out. You've been avoiding it for too long. Type of energy. Be at home means get comfortable in your skin. The good, bad, and the ugly. All of it. All of it. Okay? It's like, yeah, my armpits stink. And what? What about it? That doesn't mean I don't deserve love. I'm fully aware that after I come up from the gym, I, you know, I need deodorant. You can't make, you can't cut me down with that because I'm aware of it. Right? What do we have for Taurus for November? No one can't shame you on the shit that you take, you take all the pride in. Trust me. It's when we hide things. When we hide things and we don't want things to be seen because we haven't accepted it for what it is. That's when the problem starts. That's when the demons start owning us. And then possession and all these type of things play into, come into play. You're allowed to fail. Learn from it. Dust yourself off and fuck shit up. That's what the card says. Read it. Divine said so, not me. I'm just the messenger. Taurus, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.